Welcome to Raw Impressions, Monday's music mini episode. Mini Music Monday. That's mm-hmm. that's the correct mm-hmm. mini music Monday. Mini music Monday. I made that announcement a long time ago. I think for the original mini music Monday. Oh, that was so long ago. It's a vintage announcement. Gosh, look at us, <laughs> old timers now in the podcast world. <laughs> Almost two years. Yep. Two years in November. Wow. I just had a, a thought. I'm I'm lo- if I'm looking around, it's because I am. There's a psycho candy is down uh near me. That's our cat, our black tuxedo cat. We have a cat now, we have two. We have a kitten in the room. A kitten and a, it's oh clawing its okay. way Hi. up Adele's chair. Hi. If you're watching on Psycho Candy YouTube, you'll get to see Psycho Candy make a little I was appearance. in the studio. Hi. I left the door cracked open. Was that a good idea? Maybe not for efficiency. Um, Maybe not for flow. I just realized that I have to be really careful, though, because I'm in a rocking chair, and you have to be extremely careful with cats and rocking chairs. Don't be as nervous as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. (laughs) I was as nervous as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. You don't want them to get in the rocking chair. Oh, inside of it? Right. Or, well, Remember when we got this rocking chair and we had Bob, our old cat, and they were like, the warning is, oh, you have to be very careful with um, rocking chairs that like open. It's like a reclining rocking yeah, chair. Yeah, the reclining, yeah, the reclining mechanism. That, yeah. But it, it, just in a rocking chair, like an old style rocking chair, like, mm, I'm, you know, yeah, in sorry, front I'm, of Cracker I'm, I should barrel. clarify, this is like sure. a reclining. Oh, that was terrifying. The cat yeah. could get caught between the you don't want it to get reclining in there. mechanism when you retract it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I won't do that. Don't worry, everyone. So, yeah, Psycho Candy is with us. <laughs> He is not the most verbal of the two cats. He's so quiet. He's quiet. He only. He He's only, very quiet. He only yelps when his. Uh, he only makes a sound when his brother, really, really leans into him mm-hmm. with his with his uh, teeth. A little bit too hard. Or his claws. Yep. Yeah, pumpkin's way more verbal so far. Yeah. Chatty, purry. Yep. Mm-hmm. He understands mm-hmm. that we speak. And is trying to speak to us. <laughs> Psycho Candy is just, I don't know, we're still trying to learn who he is. We're trying to learn who he is. He's exploring right now. We're watching him explore the studio. So we could just talk cats all day. But, oh, he's back up here on the chair with me. Um, and we will. And we will. <laughs> it's a cat pod now. <laughs> so, oh, oh, he's up behind me. Oh, my gosh. YouTube listeners, you, you should watch us on YouTube, guys, just so you can see Psycho Candy. He's behind my head. Oh my god! It's He's so about cute. to leap it's onto so the curtains. He's ready to leap on the curtains and uh, kittens on curtains. Kittens. That's it's like torture for them. They just <laughs> they see them and it's like that's for me. Kittens climbing curtains. Oh my god, that's yeah. too much. But um, hi, sweetie. Uh, you have been really busy. It's a mini music Monday. Oh my god, he's like burrowing in next to me. You guys, it feels so good. Oh my god, thank you getting medicine um <clears throat> i love that thank you so much psycho candy are you saying i've been busy you've been busy you've been working on a song i've been hearing you kind of toiling away in your studio and um what i did uh, so much what's yesterday gonna happen? i, I did so much when you said i was busy i thought about the other things i did mm-hmm. like we did a lot of organizing yesterday we did we put up the, the halloween we're getting ready. Decorations. We, we host a big Halloween party every year. Yep. Song. Oh, oh. In <laughs> oh God. You notes. ready? Here's the song.
okay. That sounded terrible to me. Oh, no. Oh, that really? was the longest two minutes and 27 seconds of my life. I had a very different experience. Really? Yeah, I was actually feeling very kind of nostalgic and brought back again to our older mini musics and stuff when you would more regularly debut songs you were working on or things like that. And I thought, oh man, I'm excited because this is a great, like just energy and it's giving texture and depth to the episode and someone's going to be in their car driving to work or whatever. And they're going to really like having this little I do, music. I am very, although I thought it was terrible, I am really glad that we're doing this. And I'm really glad that I put myself up to making a demo of this song mm -hmm. and then debuting it for you here on the podcast. Like that was a really, I like that I did that. I'm okay I, I, with it being terrible. <laughs> I'm glad that I did it. I'm no, glad you, you did know, too. No regrets. Um, that, that riff of that song is probably, I, I think it's so old. I don't know when, Really? I came up with it. I may have come up with it when I was still originally in Dinosaur Jr. Wow. Just the basic riff of the song, which is this climbing riff. I like it. How did you find, like, refind it? I've never forgotten about it. I play it. Oh. I've been playing it since I came up with it. Mm -hmm. And just going, like, maybe someday. And then I remember when I got kicked out of the band, mm -hmm. even. And I would play the riff for myself. And I'm like, this feels more like a Dinosaur Jr. riff. Mm -hmm. Even when I was in Sebado, because I was like, do I, because I'm like, when do I finish this? Because I kept, it's just been slowly writing itself over a really long time. Hmm. And it's always felt like off. I've never found the right tone for it. I've never found the right. But then I was thinking about it again recently. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Oh, I was going to say, can you say that on I, the pod? Yes. You sure? <clears throat> no. But Oops. here's the thing. Okay. I have to, I have to, you know, <laughs> I got to write some songs for a, a new Dinosaur Jr. record if it, if it's to happen. Sure. If, let's say, theoretically, Dinosaur Jr. were working on a new, I, sh I need some songs on deck to go. So mm -hmm. I want to get these songs on deck. Okay. So that one is on. So anyway, I was like. I just thought maybe now's the time to get just get that riff out of the way to finish it and to make it a Dinosaur Jr. song. So I came up with like a last, like an ending part of it over the last day or so. Because mm -hmm. I was sitting here and playing it to myself mm -hmm. during my busy days. I was actually, oh my God, the cat's on her fucking lap. <laughs> so anyway, so I, I just took, but do you think it's okay? You, you, you're like... It's interesting. It's, um, I, I'm not gonna like blow smoke up your ass and go like oh that's like when i heard good times or something it's it doesn't mean it's bad it just means um it's different and that different isn't bad i'm i'm intrigued i i really like the riff so i think the riff has a lot of possibility hmm. you know that should definitely be followed i i i could hear um more of a a layering of that riff, you know, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, there's a lot of, I mean, what you know, would actually transpire? Cause that like song was, Jay could take that riff and riff on that riff. Do you so know what do I mean? I have him play guitar. It's a lot yeah. of chords. I kind of feel like he needs a guitar on top of that guitar, like his guitar. Yes. That's cool. That's my opinion, but I definitely could see Jay. It like, might be, you know, what? on top of that. Do you know what I mean? Well, like, yeah, I think, it might. I think it would work with Jay on guitar. Mm -hmm. I think he. I think he'll be able to. I think it could have a little solo in there. A little he could, guitar he solo. Could le he could actually learn the guitar part really quickly. Yeah. And it would probably sound great. Do you know what I mean, though? Like you know, where it's sort of like really doing the riff, and I don't know if that's like the chorus or what, but it's almost like it needs to have it like doubled again oh. on top of it, like floating. You know, I'll and, tell you what, Jay Maskus. You know, he, he could, can double. He, yeah, exactly. He can double, he can triple, he can quadruple. Totally. He can and I think it'd be cool, some cool effects on it, you know, like yeah, really maybe, affect that shit up, like really. Make it like an aggressive guitar. Make it kind of a cool, kind of really grungy, yeah. um, like lean into the effects and. 
cool. That's what I was. That's, that's my thinking. That's what I was thinking. I was going to play it acoustic, yes, you know, for today. But then I thought, I don't want to just play it acoustic because it's not really an acoustic song. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. so I wanted to make a demo to play for you as opposed to doing an acoustic. So then, then I put myself up to it last night. I was like, I got to do this. Mm-hmm. I actually have to do this. So I, I did it. I did that very quickly. Yeah. But um, I did it. And that's the important thing. Sorry to those of you who hate the sound of slurping. It happened, and it's going to happen again right now. <laughs> I'm still recovering and drinking tea, though. So. And you haven't you haven't coughed yet. I know. I'm. I'm. Pretty I'm, impressive. I'm, thank you. I'm really um, trying to not cough. Well, you got a kitten. Your little cough kittens. There is. A kitten just perched Cough. on the armrest next to me, you guys. Fur suppressant. My God. It's just a little, it's a little black loaf. A fur presence. A little licorice loaf right there. A furry presence. Dear God. A cough suppressant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're my little cough suppressant. This is my poem. It's Aww. called Get Well Kitty. Kitty Medicine. Yeah. A furry presence. A cough suppressant. <laughs> I, lo- I I really like loaf. this. Psycho Candy's really letting me pet him right now. It's very sweet. They're so good, you guys. We adopted the best, best cats in the whole world. We just did. Man, I've never been so afraid that a cat could get outside mm. as I am now. And you know me, I was kind of like, I was pretty laxadaisical about Treated them about like that. disposable was like, ah, get diapers. Outside. So you were like, eh. Well, they're not, I don't treat them like disposable diapers. <laughs> Quite the opposite. <laughs> I'm saying you were always like, well, when one cat goes, another one comes. I know. <laughs> and I was like, we'll let them outdoors. Hey, we got some kittens. Open up the doors. Let them get used to the neighborhood. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no way. No. I don't want these cats outside. Ever. They're inside. They're ours. This is it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you live here now. Unless they go, I think the thing that would could change my mind mm-hmm. for them going outdoors is if they just really like just scratched at the door and meow and like, please let me out. Like desperately if darting like, to get out. Yeah, desperately darting. I think we'd be like, okay, we've got to. Well, if that's the case, then we definitely got to get their collars back yeah. on. And then, oh, we, you I know, mean, we should get the collars back on now. Do you think we should take the bell off the collar or just leave it on? Or do you think? I, I was surprised to see how almost every collar that's sold for a cat has a bell on it. And I'm like... That's to protect wildlife. Oh. I, I was worried that it would make the cat feel crazy because it would think it's always got a toy attached to it itself. Well, they'd get used to it. Kind of like my my tinnitus. You know, just this constant screaming, ringing. I did order them adorable name tags from Etsy, which should be here this week, so... Um, it has their information and our phone numbers on the back. Adele God forbid. hooked these cats up. Mm-hmm. It's been like cat Christmas. Okay. All right. Cat fucking it's Christmas. time to stop oh talking. <laughs> what do you guys think of the new song? Let us know. It's the end of Mini Music Monday from Raw Impressions. Thank you for listening.